Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Trail Engineering. And in this video, we are going to see how to customize the graphs from Abacus so that they will look like this and not like this. I know this is very small thing, but it is very important thing so that you don't have to put graphs which look like this in your papers, presentations or homeworks. So we'll see how to change the font, how to change the font size, how to change the line widths, colors, etc. And also how to change the background color. Let's start with Abacus CA. Now to demonstrate this, I just made a simple model where there is a plate with a hole and I'm applying some pressure on this right hand side and this bottom edge can't move in y direction. This left edge can't move in x direction and this pressure is periodic and this is dynamic analysis. So we'll get the graph of displacement for four points A, B, C and D and we'll plot them against the time. So I will not go how to model this. I have a separate video for that and I already created four sets point A, point B, point C and point D and I also requested four history output requests each corresponding to these four sets. So let's see the results. So these are the results and if I go into history output these are those four displacements for four points. Let's say plot and this is the plot Abacus gives us by default which doesn't look that good. So let's see how to change this. First of all, you can go to this XY curve options and over here you can change this legion name to whatever you want. So for example, this I will just keep it as point B and then if you say dismiss, you will see that it is changed over here to point B. Similarly, I will do it for all other four points as well. And again, if you go back there, you can change the color, line width, line style, etc. For example, for this red graph, we can change the line style, also change the line width. Let me increase the width for all other graphs as well. Uh, this maybe let's make it blue. This one color is good, but let's just change the line width. And also maybe we'll make it like this. And the last one again, color is good. Let's keep the third options. So you can see you have three different options over here, say dismiss. Next font for that you can directly double click on this axis and axis options will open and also you can go here from options XY options and axis and here we can change the font. So you can see here X axis and Y axis X axis is now selected. So which is over here and then if you go on title you can change this title to whatever you want. I'm just going to add dimension over here. Let's say second. Then you can select the font from over here. Let's make it Times New Roman because that is the most widely used font. And also you can increase the font size and say apply. So you can see over here, this is changed. This is only changed for X axis. For Y axis still it is not changed. For that you can click on this Y axis and again do the same thing over here. Times New Roman and font size to 18 say apply and also you can select if you want bold and italic that also can be done say okay this also maybe i will add the dimension let's say millimeter and to change the font for tick marks you have to go here in axis and change the font over here again i will make it times new roman and let's increase it as well say apply so now tick marks are also changed you can control the frequency of these tick marks and also if you want to show this black line and if it should be inside or outside everything you can control from here. I will also change the dimension for X axis. If you want to choose if these tick marks should be inside or outside that you can choose from over here. Now it is inside you can make it outside then it will look like this and also you can change the line style and thickness over here. Let me make them inside again. To change the font of legend you can just directly double click on this or again you can go from options xy options and chart legend here let's change this font as well to times new roman and font size too if you go to area you can change the position of this legend i usually prefer it to be inside the graph so you can choose this insert and here you can align it wherever you want so i usually keep it somewhere over here and then I remove this border as well. Say dismiss. 
and now one last remaining thing is background color for that again go in options xy options and chart and here you can change this color to white if you want grid lines you can turn them off or on from here usually i don't prefer grid lines so i just keep them off and say dismiss and that's it to save this plot you can just go to file print destination choose file then you can browse wherever you want to save this picture let's name it as waves and by clicking on this format button you can even select the resolution so i will increase the resolution to 2000 say okay and say okay this is the outcome if you zoom in you can see the resolution is also good if you find this video helpful please don't forget to show your support by subscribing to this channel also check out channel's homepage where you can find many videos on similar topics and if you go to playlist tab here you can see many different playlists where i combine together videos from different topics so for example if you are trying to learn python scripting in abacus you can watch all the videos in this particular playlist also you can visit channel's github profile and from here you can download all the codes which i used in different videos on my youtube channel you can find link of this github profile in description box of this video that's it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching